Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back to another um, extraordinary episode of Two Wacky Pundits, Dr. D and Dr. A. Aloha. So, what have we got today? So today we have a special treat for you. So it looks like a small book, no, unlike the other one. Of this is a bit week. of an oddity that I picked up on, okay. uh, on the internet from yeah. abebooks.com. What, what, say it again? Abebooks.com. A-B-E? A -A A-B-E. B-double-O-K-S. Okay. This is a second-hand bookstore on the internet. Mm. It's called... Oh, wait. The reflection is ruining everything. True Remarkable Occurrences. Okay. It's compiled by, by a guy called John Train. John Train, yeah. Yeah, it's ex it's excerpts taken from newspapers from around the world. Ah, okay. All of them are true. All of them are so corroborated. So this is like Darwin Award stuff, or not not a, not exceptionally. Okay. These are more like exceptional occurrences. Okay. So since we mentioned Darwin Awards, we have to explain it. You yeah. explain it. The Darwin Awards are are fictional awards awarded to especially stupid people who commit especially stupid things. Am I right in that assessment? But the most important thing is that they that they remove themselves, remove themselves from, from the gene, gene pool. pool. That's right. By That's by not procreating prior to their demise. Like the guy who stuck you know firecrackers up his like ass. Like going like going into the shower with a toaster. Yeah, yeah that's you right. know that's to make right. toast while you're having a shower. That sort of either craziness. by castrating themselves or by neutering themselves or by killing themselves. That's how that's how it usually happens. Mm -hmm. I was going to um, highlight this book by reading excerpts from it. Okay. Because it's too short, really, to just give uh -huh. a synopsis. And you can't really give a synopsis because it's a, it's a book. There are photos? Yes, there are, there are illustrations. A young Taiwanese man had written 700 love letters to his girlfriend over the past two years, trying oh. to get her to marry him. So that's 700? Zero, zero. Yes. Okay. His persistence finally brought results. Yeah, I'm sure it did. A newspaper reported yesterday the girl had become engaged to the postman who faithfully delivered all the letters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> okay, man. It's a good book. I'm buying it. This book is, is exceptional. It's really uh, wonderful. Uh, yeah, man. The problem is that it's so short. Okay, it's really well, short. You can read it in I'm one sure, sitting. I'm sure there will be multiple volumes if they want to. Yeah, an, Athenian, an Athenian took a taxi to his lady love's house, letting himself in with a key she had given him. Okay. After a while, they were surprised in flagrante by the taxi driver who had let himself in with his own key. It was his house, the lady was his wife. <laughs> Can you even imagine this shit? And this is all true. Oh, crazy. This is all corroborated. There are annotations everywhere. This one is a bit of a long one, but I think it's worth it. That's a really, really I try, good try to shorten it when I can. No, don't worry. During the fray, May 12th, between part of Grant's army and the Confederate detachment, a soldier staggered and fell to earth. At the same time, a piercing cry was heard in the house nearby. Examination of the wounded soldier showed that a bullet had passed through his scrotum <coughs> and carried away his left testicle. It carried away his left testicle. The same bullet had apparently penetrated the left side of the abdomen of a young lady midway between the umbilicus and the anterior spinous process of the ileum and become lost in the abdomen. <laughs> the daughter suffered an attack of peritonitis but recovered. 278 days after the reception of the bullet, she was delivered of a fine boy. Crazy. Weighing eight pounds. No way. To the surprise of herself and the mortification of her parents and friends. Oh, come on. This is true. Believe me, it's okay, true. Okay, we're going to have to decipher all this, though. The doctor concluded that the same bullet that had carried away the testicle of his young friend had penetrated the ovary of the young lady and with some it's sperm upon it... Exactly. ...had impregnated her. Is it, what are the chances of that happening? It's incredible. That's fucking crazy. And this appeared in the American Weekly, November 4th of 1874. So it's true. Yeah, okay, true. but come on. I mean... Uh... No, 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 it's true, it's true. 
all of the, he's a stickler this guy John Train is a stickler in fact he you know, what, you know what we're talking about here hmm. they have a fucking bullet passing hmm. through the ball of some guy carrying sperm from it carrying sperm from it and going through the ovary it. of someone else another victim by the same bullet and impregnating her that's crazy amazing that's I mean, what are the odds? Fantasm. <laughs> Shit, man. All right. It's very entertaining. Crazy. I had to share this book with everybody. It's, 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 it's. Okay, give us some more. Uh, All right. It's looking really good. When a cow has an attack of bloat, actually methane gas generated in the stomach, <coughs> it must obtain relief promptly or it is likely to die. Okay. A Dutch veterinarian was summoned recently to treat a cow suffering from this affliction, mm -hmm. an agricultural news service reported. He tried a standard remedy, which is to insert a tube carefully up the beast's rear <coughs> end. Mm -hmm. A satisfying rush of gas followed. You With don't want to put a lighter, though. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you don't spoil it. <laughs> really? All right. <laughs> With misplaced scientific zeal, the vet, perhaps seeking a source of cheap heat and light, then applied the match. Oh Christ. Okay, the resulting torch-like jet set the barn ablaze. It burned to the ground. The flames spread to the nearby fields which were consumed. The vet was convicted of negligence and fined. The cow remained serene. Crazy. <laughs> Insane. Now there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. And there is stuff which... I can show this photo as well. It's another interesting occurrence. Yes, but uh, <coughs> I, w I didn't want to mention this particular too, story too because anti -PC. no, 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 because it's boring. Okay, I wanted right. to select the best bits for our audience. Mm -hmm. This one here will will strike people as particularly apropos in this politically correct nightmare that we're living okay. in. Grand Rapids, Michigan. A local striptease joint must build ramps on its stage to accommodate <coughs> handicapped strippers. State officials have ruled. This is by Reuters. Okay, all right. Handicapped strippers. I know you get all sorts, you know. Just. Stay saying about these the baharik the baharat the Yeah, we have to explain that to our foreign re uh, listeners. Well, it's like uh, it's like uh, nothing goes to waste. Nothing Speak. goes to waste. That's right. Crazy. Okay. This one is a bit racist. Um, but uh, gonna, let, let's put a pass because we have enough racism stuff with Meghan Markle right now and all that. Uh, we don't want to that. mention it. Uh, let, let, let's leave it a bit. Let it, let it come okay, down. Okay, all right, all right. This one is racist as well. So, uh, <laughs> oh my god, I think we've reached the end. All right, okay. <laughs> we've reached the end. But yeah, it's a really interesting collection. It's a pity they were really interesting those stories, but uh, as well. Whatever. You can tell them to me later. Yes, yes. I'll share them with you later. Okay. It's a pity. But uh, uh, YouTube will so algorithmically... We still try and do some self-censoring as much yeah, as we, we can. We have to. Okay? We have to. We have no choice. <clears throat> Albeit, we're still waiting for some dec decent trolls to... Yeah, troll us. Don't worry. Uh, we, can, we can take it. Okay. We can take it. Okay, guys. So, I guess uh, this is it for today's episode. Next week, I have something interesting for you as well. Yeah? Yes, well, what's I'm it? sure. What's it about? I, I was hoping to finish that book that I was mentioning earlier, but it's quite dense. Yeah. So I'm trying. I, I might have something else okay. in the store. Cool. I will leave it at that, up All in right. the air. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the videos, uh, share if you want to, and uh, put on the bell for notifications. All right. May Stay I safe, guys. be with you. Indeed. Bye.